dedicated to Baltimore. There are thousands of boys of color locked in pitch dark circumstance, hands over chapped lips. We tell them to try to keep from breathing. We sit back and watch as silence is their only non-lethal weapon. In November of 2014, 12-year-old Tamir Rice was shot in Cleveland, Ohio while playing in a park with a toy gun, playing in a park, playing. Boys of color cannot see the outside like they should be able to. They are handed hopscotch sidewalk chalk and asked to practice outlining their bodies. This is not cops and robbers. This was shoot first, never ask questions, sit back and watch as Southern Trees tire swings turn to US streets, smeared with the time it took for police to take the life of a young man innocent. Responding to a call of a black male with a probably fake gun, it only took two seconds for police to make the pavement a lot thicker with future spilled. Parents cannot kiss these wounds away. Parents of boys of color worry about a lot more than scraped elbows and knees. They see the reflection of their boys on the southern trees. The defense for the city of Cleveland said that Tamir's injuries were caused by his failure to exercise due care to avoid injury. And Tamir was a child who only had years of life left to live and a smile that could light up a room like rubber star stickers stuck to ceilings. No wonder the world is so dark now. His sister, age 14, running towards her dying brother, tackled, held in handcuffs. His mother, threatened with arrest, deemed unfit to hold her baby boy as his body lay bleeding. This is one example of the kids who are told they can be whatever they want to be under the condition that they are only half of what they could ever be. Why don't we paint their skin with the phrase non-lethal in a color other than red? Why do we insist on putting them in boxes where they cannot see, cannot feel the sunlight on their palms. Too many boys of color have been placed in darkness, hands over chapped lips, still silent. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that we as people will get to the promised land, but these boys, they do not know what it's like to look at the mountaintop, to glance at a suspicion-free life, free to walk the streets without worry along with everyone else. They will never know what it's like to be happy or scared or sad or angry in public. Their emotions will get them in trouble, do get them in trouble, will get them locked up and lost without direction. The world could be their compass, but we insist on taking it away from them, along with everything else they dare carry in public. For hundreds of years, we have placed them on the sidelines of all games, not sports related. They are holding a crumpled piece of our future like a history test they just got a good grade on, now stained in their own blood. Boys of color in the United States do not know what it's like to look at the mountaintop. They tend to die before they can see it. <laughs> 